In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a PayHip store so you can sell digital products. Now you can use PayHip to sell digital products for free and I'm going to run you through and cover the whole process step by step. So let's jump into it. So first you need to go over to PayHip. So go ahead and Google search PayHip and it should then take you here. Now just to prove that this is free, if you go to their pricing section and scroll down, you can see it is free forever all they have is a 5% transaction fee when your customers make a purchase. So we can run with this, we can create a free store and start selling digital products. So you wanna go ahead and sign up for free. You need to enter in your first name, a last name and an email and you can go ahead and create your account. Okay, so now we've entered in those details. It's now asking us to give our store name. Now you can change this later, so don't worry about it, but I'm just going to enter in a store name, then click continue. So my store is gonna be called Knowledge Based Downloads. We can then click continue, and we can also enter in a username. Now this username is going to be at the end of your URL, so you will need this to be unique. So enter in a username here, and then click get started selling. If that username is available, it will then take you to the PayHip dashboard. Now from here, we can go ahead and add our first product. Or if you wanted to just start designing your store, you can do that and then add your product later. So if you go ahead and go to store, you can then launch your store by clicking launch your store builder. And that will take you through the whole process. So first, what we need to do is add our product. So go ahead and first click add first product, then choose whether you want to sell a digital product, course, membership, physical product, or so on. Now with PayHip, you can create a store and sell multiple digital products, or you can just link to the one digital products and get like external traffic from social media and just link to one specific product. This video will show you how you can set up your store. So first I'm gonna upload a product. So we'll go digital product, we'll then upload the product. And for the sake of the video, I'll just upload a thumbnail template that I use for my YouTube channel. So we'll upload here on title one, which is a thumbnail template. So once that has uploaded, you need to enter in a title and a price. So I'm just going to give this a title and a price here. So for the sake of the video, I've called this YouTube thumbnail template and I've made it $100, but you can change this to whatever currency you want. If you have a lot of American or US traffic, I'd recommend you just keep it on USD. Most of the world recognizes USD as a currency, so you'll probably get more customers and more conversions if it's on USD compared to a, like a niche currency, right? So now you're going to need to add a cover image. Now, if you don't really have any design skills or you're unsure on how to create this, I recommend you go to canva.com. And on Canva, what you can do, if you go ahead and create a free account, you can see here I've got a free personal account. You can then click create design, then you can go custom size. And I recommend that you create your custom design to be 1920 in the width by 1080 in the height. That will create this nice little banner that we can go ahead and edit. Now, if you go ahead and go to design templates, you can then create from a template. So if we go to templates and we just type in something like cover, you can then choose one of these cover arts and you can customize this to your product. So let's say we like the looks of this one. We could click on it and it will add it to the template here. Now everything in here is going to be editable. So we can go ahead and edit this to our liking thumbnail template. So once you've gone ahead and edited this, you can replace images. And I've made many videos on Canva, which I'll link in the description. Those videos show you how to navigate Canva, create good designs, which are professional completely for free. Again, with Canva, you can edit and delete and basically change the whole template. Now, creating a cover is gonna increase conversions, so I do recommend it. But once you've got it made, go to share, go to download, and just download it as a PNG. Now, you don't have to use Canva for this. You can use Photoshop, but Canva is free. It's online. You don't need to download it, and it is easy. So once you've got your cover downloaded, click upload and just go ahead and find it. And then you can upload that to your digital product page. You can upload up to nine items. So I recommend you upload and show a preview of what actually you're giving in the product, right, for the price. So we've got that cover uploaded. We can now also add a description. Make sure you try and make this as detailed as possible because you want to increase conversions. You don't want people to be unsure on what they're getting. They want to be 100% sure and ready to spend the price, right? So scrolling down even more, keep this on visible if you want this to be available to everyone then go ahead and click add product and it will then add it to your store. Now, if you click show me my product page, this will be the product page here for your one specific product. Now we need to connect PayPal and Stripe later, which we will do and I'll show you how to do that soon. 
If you go back to your actual page here though, your actual store won't be set up. This link will just simply go to your one product, which is fine if you're sending people directly from social media, but if you have more than one product, you want to actually set up your store. So to do that, go ahead and go to store. Once you're on store, you can now launch your store builder. Because we've already added a product, we can now customize our actual store page. So what have we got here? So we've got knowledge based downloads, we've got our product number one, we've got an about me section, and we've got a contact section here. So the contact section looks pretty good, I'm not going to change it. I'm just going to customize the shop section. So you've got the header, if you click on the header, you can customize the store logo, the navigation links. So we've just got shop and contact right now. You've got the header settings. This is going to change things like the header, the transparency of the header. You've got here the width, the padding, and you can obviously mess around with these and increase or decrease the padding. And you'll see the changes live on the right here. You've also got announcement bar and elements. Now, what we're going to focus on right now is going to be the collection and the about me section. So if you click on the collection, you can make this an adaptive aspect ratio, show the price and you can kind of like choose how many columns you want. So if you've only got two products, make it so it's two columns. So only two products will show. You can also increase or decrease the spacing and edit this however you want. On mobile, we're going to get it to show just one column. And you can change here the format, so the price and the name and the text alignment. Maybe we want this on the left. Okay, so there we go. We're going to click now save changes. And now let's head over to the about me section. So moving down under the collection, we've got about me, which we can click on and we can go ahead and replace this image. So if you click replace, upload, you can now find an image of yourself. I'll use this one. So that looks good to me. We can then click choose this image and just be patient when you're customizing this. You've got your heading here about me and you can also write some text here. So that's all I'm going to write, but you get the point. You can customize this. You can change the text formatting, make it bold, italic and so on. You've got a follow button, which you may or may not want to appear. I'm going to click no. And that means I could write more text image shape. You've got circle or square. And that's about it for this section. So just by being patient and by customizing everything that they offer, you can create a pretty decent store. If you go to add section, you can add here different elements. So you've got here your image with text, which is good for basically explaining your product more. You've got a gallery, slideshow, image. You can even add videos as well if that's your thing. And if you think videos can explain your store or your products in more detail. It's also good to add testimonials. So if you've got testimonials, you can go ahead and click on them and add them. And again, in the testimonials section, you can customize everything to do with this. Once you're happy with your store, you want to go ahead and preview it first. So click preview. Here is your store and people can click on your products and they'll be able to then buy them. Now, last thing we need to get set up is going to be our payment methods. So we'll go ahead and publish the store and we'll go visit your store. And then we, what we'll do is we'll go and exit the store builder. And this is very important because if you don't get this set up, then you're not going to be able to accept payments. So you can go to setup checkout here, or if you go to account settings, you can go to payment details. And here what you can do, you can accept payments via PayPal or Stripe. So go ahead and click on one of these. If it's PayPal, enter in your PayPal email, click continue, and then a window is going to open, which is going to ask you to confirm your PayPal account. So just go ahead and confirm your PayPal account and go through the process. And then you'll be able to start accepting payments via PayPal. Or if you've chosen Stripe, you'll be able to accept payments with Stripe as well. But that's how you can set up your store. Then here is your URL to your store and people can interact with it and buy your products. Hope that quick video helped you out. Let me know if you've got any comments in the comment section below.